Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I've got a pretty special bike. This is a 1994 Honda CBR 900RR Fireblade. Um, this is one of my personal bikes. I've had it uh, about a year and a half or so. I uh, got it from a guy who really neglected it, to be honest with you, and uh, I took the time to get it safe and running. I rebuilt the carbs, the brakes, uh, new rubber, chain and sprockets. I've had the clutch cable break. I've had the uh, the pull cable on the accelerator break. I've had the stator break. I've had the rectifier break. I've had a lot of little stuff I've had to replace on this thing. Well, uh, water pump down there is leaked. Um, I got it for 700 bucks. Uh, I ended up putting about another 2500 into it to make it right but all in all I would say it was worth it she's got uh how many miles does she have 25,000 miles on it anyway let's fire it up and take it for a ride uh, I'm not going to be talking about the technical stuff on this bike or the history of it or anything like that because there's plenty of better videos out there or people will tell you all about it. I know because I've seen them. Uh, something else I should add, this bike does have a straight pipe. It did have a period correct Yosha mirror that flew off on me at about 130. And uh, I, I did get a period correct replacement, but it was running so good with the straight pipe and the sounding so nasty that I just left it. So you guys are definitely gonna be hearing it. Anyway, like I was saying, I'm not going to tell you this technical stuff, but I will tell you my experience with this bike. Um, like I said, I've had it about a year. Sometimes it's best to just let the bike speak for itself. Yeah, so I've had the bike about a year. I've put a... About 2,500 miles on it, which is really not a lot, especially for me. Uh, I've got a 2020 R1 that's got the same amount of mileage that I've had for two months. Um, the biggest problems I had were uh, downtime with this bike. So, you know, like I said, I had to replace a lot of stuff, and that takes time getting parts, you know? Uh, I had the carbs built, rebuilt professionally, because uh, I'm not a mechanic. Uh, this thing has left me stranded on the side of the road a few times, but it's always something little, and there's really not much left on it to break, unless it's going to be new stuff, which would just be sad. Um, this is a pretty legendary bike. That's why it was worth it to me to save it. You know, it just sounds gnarly, man. That inline four with the carbs, straight pipes. Oh my God. Yeah, sometimes people talk about how loud pipes save lives, whether they do or they don't. I can promise you that they do, but only with straight pipes, because people can hear me coming from a mile away. It scares off wildlife too. My R1 with its four catalytic converters doesn't do that. had a lot to say about this bike. I shot another video with it yesterday, but the audio was all janked up, so not much to really say about it today other than it's awesome and I love it. Would I recommend getting a bike like this that's 26 years old as your only bike? I'm going to have to say no because, you know, I've had a lot of downtime with this bike. You know, when I want to ride it and I'm waiting for parts or whatever, 
but as a second bike, maybe a project bike, maybe a third bike, maybe a bike you park in your living room, or you only ride on Sundays like today, it makes perfect sense. I mean, it's a total, total joy. Um, if you're a new rider, don't get confused. This is not a beginner's bike. I've been riding for many years and uh, I can barely handle this thing. I'm really not a track rider. I'm the kind of guy that dailies an R1 and puts Healy bars on it. So just something to keep in mind. It doesn't have ABS, it doesn't have traction control, it doesn't have wheelie control, it doesn't have anything. It's all up to you with what you want this bike to do. Some people did call this bike a Widowmaker. You can see why. There's not many of them left on the road. I have never seen another one with the dual round headlights on the road since I've owned it. That would be cool if I did. Very, very rarely do I even come across people that recognize this bike. But sometimes I do, and they really geek out over it. Um, compared to a modern bike, it's probably a bit faster than a modern 600. But I can promise you the brakes are not as good. Uh, you know, I've been on that new R1. And those brakes are fucking top notch, as far as I can tell. You know, I'm not on racetracks, I'm on roads like this, pushing it semi-hard. So the brakes, the brakes feel wooden, but they used to feel really good. Uh, you know, I rebuilt them and put in new fluid and pads and stuff and did all that. gas in this thing. So I went out and put some gas in it at 1 in the morning, hooked it up to the jump pack, and the bitch fired right up. Still needed a lot of stuff. The carbs are all fucking gunked up and shit. It had 11-year-old tires on it. But it was definitely worth saving. Uh, but I, I've gotten it out of my system. I have no need for an old 90s sport bike, because I've done it. <laughs> I'm all about that R1 life now, but man... Riding this bike almost makes me want to change my mind. The one problem you're going to have with this bike, though, uh, it's going to be like getting fairings and stuff, you know? You can get fairings from, you know, a couple dozen different manufacturers for sport bikes made in this century. But this bike, you can get fairing sets, but only from a select few vendors. And they're all coming from China, so who knows? You know, sometimes they're going to be hit or miss. Sometimes they're not. But you can get mechanical stuff for this thing you know gaskets shit like that pretty easily uh, some of the older CBRs have this same motor I think up to maybe I don't know 97 or something uh, don't quote me on that you have to look it up but they did up update this bike but all they really did from what I know is upgrade the uh, headlights I don't know why they got rid of the round ones they're so cool I think they've aged very well Anyway guys, I'm going to end this video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you're thinking about getting one, I'd say pull the trigger on it. See you next time.